Tanya from Draw for the Giants and it's my aim to inspire, equip and encourage you in your weight loss journey even if you're over 35. And I'm putting this back. You know it's a prop, right? This is my fasting hours. I do not need to be in the fridge. But today this is a companion video to my week two update. This is the talky talky part. So I'm going to sit and have a chat with you just to give you a little bit of a backstory about what's happening for me. Come on, come and take a seat. This week marks the fourth month that I've been consistently hitting down the scales and my own weight loss. And I thought this would be a, uh, a time to share a little bit more about what I'm doing and uh, to give you an idea of how it's actually working for me. As of this morning, I am 15.2 kilograms lighter than when I started in October. Um, I have never lost that kind of weight before. And I'm quite in awe of it, you know. Um, I'm extremely encouraged by it and excited about where it's taking me. Today I'm wearing a t the top that I wore when I first took the photos um, at my parents' 50th last November, I think it was. And um, just really at the very beginning of my journey, of my proper journey into, into weight loss. And I look quite different. And so it's such a treat. I put it on before and I was thinking, oh my word, you just look so good. And uh, yeah, <laughs> exciting. So how am I losing weight? Especially being over 40. In fact, I'm more close to the 50. Um, and also, you know, menopausal through intermittent fasting. In particular, OMAD, which is eating one meal a day. Fasting was something I have really only thought about in a spiritual manner and I've tried it several times um, in my experience being a Christian um, and I really uh, enjoyed that process but I never really considered um, fasting as an, an aspect of life to, um, as part of my health. If intermittent fasting is something that you're interested in, I would suggest you go and look at all the different videos um, you can find on YouTube. There are so many people who have gone before us who've done really well in their intermittent fasting journey. But there's also the likes of Dr. Jason Fung who's written The Obesity Code. He has so much available um, to, to view and to read online it's so very easy to get all the information you need to make your own decision whether it's something that you could do so i like movement i like being active but i don't like having to exercise on a daily basis and because i was carrying so much more weight um my actually my knees were actually sore now and which made me want to not move so much and that was a really bit of a bit of a downer for me and since i knew that fasting was something that i could um, enjoy with God I decided that what I would do is I'd sit with the Lord and I'd ask him to help me because I really needed that furtherance and ferventness of you know commitment and, and, and understanding I've done all these cool brave exciting things in my life but I haven't mastered my own um, health even though I've, I'm healthy in myself um, and I've never really had anything wrong with me. I have had and carried weight all my life. And I had a real awareness inside of myself that I need to do a lot more in my life in the years ahead. And to do that, I needed to be fit and, and healthy and um, of, a, of a size that would be able to sustain me uh, all the days of my life. I kind of want to give myself a good chance to, to live a long a long and healthy life. So I started by doing a six day fast. And as I fasted, I my intention was to spend time with God and to break um, a bit of a sugar habit at the time. I noticed that after four days only, all the pain in my knees left me. And I had probably been having it for, I don't know, a year or so. Um, and I just had all this energy. And it was in that week that I started looking into fasting for health. And I was inspired so very much by it. For me, I can do fasting. When I really looked at it, I thought, you know what? I can fast. In fact, to me, it feels relatively easy. I don't mind missing some meals. In fact, I think 
um, the last oh no seven or so years I've been traveling around the world and I've been volunteering my business services to ministries overseas and three of them have been health related ministries so I've, I've learned so much about um, plant-based food eating I've learned about um, natural causes with remedies and, and water therapy and, and, and all that sort of good stuff. Now in the process of living and working with them they all um, ate two meals a day so I was all sort of in the habit. Now I've been a vegetarian, I've been a vegan and I've tried raw food um, diet especially with one of them was uh, based on raw food and I wanted something that would be sustainable for me. Now, I have since become a meat eater and I'm transitioning back into vegetarianism um, because I know in my body, my body loves plant-based food. I, I can feel it almost singing when I have a meal that is plant-based. Um, so heading back that direction at the moment. So that with the added coolness of fasting, I come across Intermittent Fasting and OMAD. That has been the key factor to my personal weight loss. And it's been so far, <laughs> it's been easy. Uh, it's almost like, is this true? Um, are the scales correct? Um, are you sure? But measurements have changed, my uh, clothes have changed, my, the scales are constantly, constantly coming down and I feel like amazing. Oh my stars. I feel so... I wish I had a larger vocabulary to express what that feels like and what that is inside of me. But it's, it's just been a, a real treat. So. Um, some things to let you know of how I measure my weight. Um, I have, of course, my tape measure and a couple of apps on my phone. You can't get by these days without having a good phone app to measure your weight, and um, which has been really great for me. So I've chosen to use Monitor Your Weight. I have um, a Android phone. And also, my second uh, app would be, at the moment, Vora, which is a fasting app. It measures how long I'm fasting for. I have been doing it for about four or five days, but I don't know if I'll keep it um, because, you know, it's, it's like whatever. I'm only eating once a day, and I know when I eat and when I stop and everything like that. So the last thing I keep um, handy by my bed, um, and I usually sort of use it once a month, is my handy-dandy little notebook. Um, I picked this up at a, well, was it, a hostel in San Diego, and basically I'm just keeping my, I'm just keeping my scores of um, my measurements, which you know it's kind of handy to have, even though I can do it in my app. Um, you know I have to scroll through to find out when I did my last one, and I do that once a month, and I'm going to share with you now what I've lost. This month I've had a reduction in the measurements of my body. It's not as much as it was in the previous month, but I've also lost more weight this month than I did last month. So I guess it all evens out. So my neck is down um, a centimetre. Uh, my chest stays the same as last time. I have a cat just walking in front of me right now. Sorry. Um, and let's see, my waist um, is down two and a half. My waist is down two and a half centimetres and my hips are down half a centimetre and um, my arms are down a centimetre, my thighs are down half a centimetre and my calves have stayed the same. But it's pretty cool because everything fits so much nicer. How about some before and afters? This is me at the very beginning. Do I look different? That was like nearly four months ago, and this was me this time last month. And of course, this is me now. I'm really thrilled with the change that's happening in my body. And it's been such a pleasure to be able to share this with you. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a like think about subscribing. I'm going to be sharing on a weekly basis about my journey. 
and if you haven't already please do check out my companion video for my updates in there I'll be sharing photos of my food I'll be sharing the graphs that I've had over the last week so you can see the process and also there's something else that I haven't shared here that I'll share over there so do come and join me there and um, basically celebrate with me and hopefully that's encouraged you to to do that if you have already on your journey I'd be so happy to hear um, all about it please tell me below even share your, your YouTube clip with me and I can watch that and and celebrate with you too until next week I hope you have a really great time and I'm Tanya from Draw Full of Giants I have been doing some really exciting things and I'm excited about it I've said exciting too many times <laughs>